guys, it's Abby, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this easy DIY fringe fall inspired scarf. It's such an easy tutorial and you can make it with any kind of fabric. So go ahead and grab about half a metre of fabric, some scissors, add your sewing machine and let's get started. For this DIY, you'll need half a yard of fabric and between a metre and two metres of fringe trimming. I ended up using two meters because I doubled up my fringe trimming but if you only use one layer then you only need one meter. I started this project with one meter of fabric but I used half a meter in making a DIY fall inspired skirt which you can find on my channel. I really like how the scarf and the skirt go as a matching outfit and cut out a rectangle that is 20 by 33 inches wide or if you prefer the metric system half a metre by 0.8 of a metre. Then place your fringe fabric on the bottom of one of the longer sides of the rectangle with the fringe facing in towards the centre of the fabric. Excuse my pyjamas. Place the fringe as close to the edge as possible and decide if you want one or two layers of fringe. I went with two layers of fringe because I thought the thicker look would be kind of nicer but it's all down to your taste. One side of your trimming should have a thick border with no fringe. You're going to sew along this area with a straight stitch. This should just be a medium length straight stitch, not a basting stitch, which is a longer straight stitch. With your trimming attached, your scarf should look like this. So fold your scarf up like a sandwich with a trimming on the inside and sew along the longer edge. Then flip your scarf inside out. Then you're going to kind of flip it inside out again, but this time only halfway. Make sure the seams match up, then pin around the mouth of this tube and sew along the outside with a straight stitch making sure to leave a small gap so that you can flip the whole scarf inside out later. So this is what my scarf looks like when it's sewn. I'm just finding my gap and pulling the fabric through from the inside out. I would recommend making a slightly bigger gap because it just makes the whole process of pulling things through a little bit faster. When mine is finally flipped, this is what it looks like. It's all neat except for a tiny little slit where I pulled all the fabric through. So what I'm going to do is sew this close. If you can hand sew, that is the best thing to do. If you can't, use the machine very close to the edge and then just wear the scarf inside out so no one sees the seam. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not the best hand sewer and so I approached this as though I was sewing up stitches in someone's head. I'm not a doctor either. Um, so it was a... Uh, it was a decent finish and I just threaded the needle through one side of the fabric, drew the thread over the other side and repeated the motion. So this is how to make an easy DIY fringe infinity scarf. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. So obviously the matching skirt is optional, but I think it adds a cool dimension to the whole outfit because you can wear both together and look totally coordinated. It also only uses up one meter for the entire two projects, so why not? If you're still feeling cold, here's another DIY to keep you warm. It's a gorgeously warm oversized sweater, which is perfect for the winter weather and for just casually chilling whenever. If you want to see all of my videos, I'm making them more often now and they tend to be coming out on a Wednesday, so subscribe so you don't miss any new and upcoming tutorials. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God.